Welcome back to the Boot Tragedies. Pete Carmichael is somehow still the offensive coordinator of the New Orleans Saints. I'm not saying he won't get fired, but at this moment, he's still employed by this team. And I think that's a big, big issue, and we're starting off this offseason on the wrong track already. He needs to be gone, and he needs to be gone immediately. We're wasting time. We are wasting a lot of time. I'm just going to go through some teams already. The Los Angeles Chargers almost called them San Diego. Joe Lombardi, guess what? Right after the playoff game, he was fired. Our season, our season was over before theirs. He's already gone. Uh, Commanders, they fired Scott Turner. You know, related to North Turner, might be his son or something. Got fired. Byron Leftwich, another playoff team. The guys that won a division. Guess what? Offensive coordinator, Byron Leftwich, fired. Todd Downing, Tennessee Titans. Uh, they basically had a playoff game in week 17 against the Jaguars that they lost. But guess what? He's fired. And yet, somehow, some way, Pete Carmichael is still hired. Still employed by the Saints. That's a big, big issue. Number one, a lot of teams is firing their offensive coordinators already. You know what that means? They get to interview guys. The interview process started yesterday, the 17th. And yet, Pete Carmichael is still on our team employed. You know what that means? We're getting left behind. If we want a new guy, our first option, second option, third option, he may be getting interviewed by other teams right now. He may accept a job by someone else. The Saints are behind the eight ball on this. If you're going to fire the guy, fire the guy right now. It makes no sense to let this linger out all into this offseason. People are getting fired left and right. People are about to get hired left and right. And guess who's going to be late? All the good guys on the market, all the top guys on the market are going to find other jobs. And what are we going to be left with? To pick somebody that we really don't want or to bring Pete Carmichael back. And I'm not happy with any of those situations. If you knew you were going to fire this guy, you knew since, I mean, I knew since like week three, week four, that he, he was not fit to be an offensive coordinator in the NFL. And if it's taking the Saints this long, then maybe we need to look within at Mickey Loomis, at Dennis Allen. Because no way you watch this offense this year and he should still be employed. I'm shocked he made it through the season. Look, all this little loyalty things that's going on in, with this organization right now, it's got to stop. We can be loyal to guys, but at the same time, if the guys are not doing their job, they got to go. And Pete Carmichael has to go. It just makes no sense why he's still employed by this team. I literally thought I was not going to rant this offseason, at least not in January. Also, I forgot Matt LaFleur from the Jets. He got fired. So many offensive coordinators are getting fired, and the Saints are just sitting here, sitting on their hands. You literally can't do this. So many guys are about to get jobs in the next coming, the upcoming weeks probably. You know guys want to get them you know, uh, in the office early, get the quarterbacks and whatnot, the playbooks early. So if you're going to fire this man, fire him now. You have to get this thing rolling. You have to get this thing going. And obviously it's going to be more offensive coordinators that's fired when new guys come in. So let's say Sean Payton goes to the Broncos tomorrow or something like that. Then obviously he's going to bring in his own offensive coordinator because obviously that's what, that's what new coaches do. He's going to bring in his own staff. So it's a couple, you know, uh, teams without coaches right now. You got the Cardinals, you got the Texans, you got the Broncos, you got the Colts. So when those guys bring in new coaches, which they're, they're going to do right away. It's time to get into draft season. Guys are going to get these interviews. They're going to try to bring in these head coaches. Then they're going to bring in offensive coordinators. And if Pete Carmichael's still on his staff, that's going to be a problem. That's going to be a big problem. It's way too quiet. Nothing's happening. Hopefully we wake up to, to tomorrow. Just tell us if, if he's standing or if he's going. He better be going, but just let us know. Let us know what's happening. Because if he's staying, that's a big issue. And if he's going, it's a big issue as well. Because why is he still here? You're getting beat to the punch. That's our problem. We're getting beat to the punch. We were literally fucking shut out this year. 13-0. We lost a game 13-0. His ass should have been fired after that day. That It took a miracle against Atlanta week one. A miracle for us to come back. And I'm not giving him credit. That was just Jameis Winston, Jarvis Landry, Michael Thomas just making plays. We didn't see Elvin Kamara look like the Elvin Kamara of old because of Pete Carmichael. It took one year for him to erase everything Sean Payton built and made this guy one of the best running backs in the NFL. We didn't barely saw Taysom Hill. And when we did see him, he played great and we won those games. It's not a shocker. This guy should not be an offensive coordinator in the NFL unless it's for the Falcons. They can have him. Please take him. We got Chris Olave to get three catches in the, on the first drive and disappear for the rest of the game and not get targeted. Yeah, you can blame that some on quarterback play, but as an offensive coordinator, you got to get your guys the ball. You got to get your guys the ball. I mean, we're basically last in almost every stat as an offense, and yet somehow this guy's not fired yet. 
I know y'all want to do it respectfully. He's been there with the, you know, the team for a long time. Hey, man, I do not give two shits. You ain't got to be disrespectful. But if you're not doing your job, you got to go. Have a meeting. They could have had a meeting week six. Like I said, it should have been had this meeting. Have a meeting with P. Carmichael and let him know, hey, the job you did, we thank you for your service over here, but the time is up, basically. You didn't do a good enough job. You don't even have to say that. Just tell him it's time to go separate ways. And if he want to resign before he gets fired, that's okay. If you want to make it you know, look good for, for anybody else, just resign. Maybe Sean Payton will take you back. He's about to get a job. Maybe Sean Payton will take you back. We'll fire you. And when Sean Payton goes to Denver or Houston, you can just pack your bags and you can go follow him to Denver or Houston and be the offensive coordinator, hand quotations, for another 10 years over there. Because with the Saints, it did not work. It did not work. I don't care if, you know, uh, you got to take the blame. Dalton got to take the game, the blame. Dennis Allen. But the offensive coordinator has to go. That's your job title. You control the offense. And it was bad. It was very, very bad. We got too many weapons. We got a good offensive line coming back. Don't know what we're going to do at quarterback next year. That's still up in the air. So we got to get a guy in. We got to get a guy in that knows what he's doing. I don't care if he's experienced, inexperienced. If he can do the job, hire the man. It was obvious that Pete Carmichael couldn't do the job. And do not tell me we're running it back. If this team runs it back, I'm going to be pissed. Because if we run it back, trust me, Andy Dalton's going to be back. Offensive coordinator Dennis Allen's going to be back. Everything's going to be the same. That's going to be catastrophic. Catastrophic. I'm telling you right now, if they just decide to run it back, everything the same, this team is filled with a bunch of idiots. And if they do that, I hope they do. Actually, I hope they do it. Because at the end of the season, Mickey Loomis, Dennis Allen, Pete Carmichael, and everybody on this staff will definitely be getting fired. The whole damn team, the whole damn roster, the whole damn staff. So if y'all choose to do that idiotic shit and run it back with this same staff, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be on y'all hands. It better work. In which we've seen it already. It won't. At least the offense won't. The defense might. The special teams might. But this offense, absolutely not. Hey, man, I said my piece. I legit, before I started this video, was like, you're not going to rant. It's not that deep. You're just going to say, you know, P. Carmichael doesn't need to be a saint. Thank you for your service over here and blah, 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 blah. But that didn't happen because I, I get passionate about this. If you've seen any of these videos, man, I get passionate about these saints. That's never going to change. And P. Carmichael... Shouldn't be our offensive coordinator. That's all I got, man. Let me know what y'all think in the comments below. Even though I've seen what y'all thought for the last 17 weeks of the football season, no one wants him back. I'm sure the players don't want him back, but they can't say that. I know Elvin Kamara don't want him back. I'll tell you that right now. He couldn't get that man the ball to save his life. So, I mean, hey, we'll see what happens in the upcoming days, but they need to move quick. They need to move quick. These other teams are doing their damn jobs, and they're doing them great. Let's move quick here and get a damn offensive coordinator. Uh, that's all for me, man. Thank you all for tuning in once again. It's the Boot Tragedies, and I'm out.